Welcome everybody to a new episode of Rafa Plays Video Games. And today I'm playing The Last of Us Remastered for the PS4. I read somewhere that this is the Citizen Kane of gaming experiences. And Naughty Dog really delivered in a big way because this is one of the most cinematic and emotionally investing video games I've ever played. It feels like so much more than a gaming experience. And so I'm going to kind of go over one of the levels, Tommy's Dam. I think this really captures the beauty of the game. Jackson County. Means we're close to Jackson City, right? Should be more than a few miles. You ready to see dear old brother? I'm just ready to get there. You nervous? This game really works on a couple different levels. The atmosphere itself is gorgeous. Just look at this. The weapon system, which you use throughout the game, um, feels pretty flawless. Um, you go into your backpack, you can pull things out. Here I have my bow and arrow, one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. And when you go through kind of scavenging, you find new weapons. Like the El, Do um, the El Diablo that I have right here, kind of a revolver with scope. Um, it gets really handy when you're fighting off against the infected and uh, so arguably even worse, bandits. This game It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. Whoa, what's that? Right there's a hydroelectric power plant. <laughs> I a hydro who? It uh it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How does it do that? Look, I know what it is, I don't know how it does it. Alright. This is such an open how world. I mean, that? besides the tones that you see in the in the gameplay. It's quite fantastic. Um, you get to interact a lot with your environment. Here, using the left joystick to kind of push this up. You interact a lot, utilizing the triangle. So it's it's a pretty simple game to pick up. You just have to be aware of all the different things that it asks you to do. And you just gotta keep going for it. So now, interacting with the environment isn't enough. You gotta go and find ways to get past like these little puzzles and tasks. So, in this case, I have to get across. I'm going to go into the water. Because, of course, Ellie can't swim, which becomes really tiring a lot of the time later in the game. But, let's see. And I'm glad Joel can swim, because I can't. Like, if this was me in real life, I'd, I'd be dead. Not to mention all of the infected that are running around, but trying to survive in, you know, a lawless world. <laughs> That's not really for me. I'd be, I'd be fucking dead. Or, or maybe I'd rise to the occasion. Let's see. What am I doing? Right there. Again, simple as pressing triangle and interacting with the environment. Really rewarding gaming experience. And honestly, what makes this game so enthralling is the character development. Um, the Last of Us, again, is an action-adventure post-apocalyptic story. And, I mean, for 2013, it feels really overexposed, especially with so many of these genre-type stories in popular culture, especially with the phenomenon of The Walking Dead. Um, but in this case, what sets the story apart is the video game is has so much complexity and has multi-layered performances and strong characterizations of the protagonists, which are Joel and Ellie, kind of this father-daughter team, even though they aren't related, which adds so much to that complexity. Um, it's something akin to the subtext and the performance of something as like The Road with Viggo Mortensen. And it's it's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful story. Set across this hostile, terrifying, horrible landscape. And it's moments like these where it just gets so beautiful. This is what you live for. Teamwork. It just feels great. That's too small of a grave. I forgot to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just... That's enough. All right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. In this post-apocalyptic world, um, people have become hostile and cannibalistic uh, zombie-infected type creatures mutated by the cordyceps fungus that grows inside and tears through the flesh 
of any unfortunate victim. It's a unique take on zombie-like threats akin to the infected in Danny Boyle's 28 Days Later. Only much more gnarly, and that's really cool. Um, and so there's danger everywhere, and I gotta survive this landscape. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop These cutscenes are great, A. Eh? Ellie, do as the lady says. I'm telling you, hey. you're watching a movie. Please tell me you're lost. We didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? The voice acting is right. also leagues ahead of anything people? else I've ever seen. Know him. He's my goddamn brother. So crisp for moments Tell like me. these. Holy shit. <laughs> Feel good. How you doing, baby brother? <laughs> goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. Ah, and this music. It just yes, grabs your heart. Easy. Won't happen to you too. <laughs> the dialogue. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around. Again, here. you become very invested in this real Ma human drama. Thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. And the best works of fiction. We all gotta get wrangled up at something. Engross you to the point where you Ellie, feel right? very invested in what's happening. Yeah. What brings you through here? You grow to love these characters. You grow to love uh, Ellie and Joel. That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> you guys have horses. We got a whole lot I love the use of animals hey, Tommy, in this game. Give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. And how you can interact with some of them, that's a lot of fun have. too. I mean, you feel the joy when you see Ellie and Joel have joy. Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Brothers. Okay. Gonna go do brother things. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy Who over needs nearby. multiplayer when you have... A campaign this good. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. So again, the different environments. I got something. I mean, just take a second and appreciate back home. just the way that this Most game looks and gone. breathes it. Most of it. And then again, moments like these. For for you that haven't actually played this game. A there's there's a Still whole subplot of Joel and his daughter, his actual daughter. Um, I don't want to ruin it. I'm good. But it's a really sad story. You sure? I mean, I said I'm good. Okay. Again, this oh, voice oh, acting. Tell me, I, I need to talk. It's perfect. Privately. Yeah. Okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. Even the face capture. All of it was so long ago. God damn. We did it, boys. Nice work, boys. Work. Somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. Interacting with my environment. Pretty impressive. I'm telling you the third person controls, beautiful too, visuals. Boys. The weapon system, all of it, all, right, all of it works together so well. Let's go, Tom. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. Like, this feels like a real conversation brothers would have. He's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, 
It's so Go aware on, of itself. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. Subtle body language. Now, now I wouldn't have believed it neither, but I can show you. All right. This is also akin to like Children of Men. I'll bite. Why bring her here? In so many different ways. Deliver to the fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. You finish the job, you collect the whole damn pain. I haven't seen a firefly. Oh, fireflies. You know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They but got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. I'm telling you, movie. You want some gear? Sure. Every but pause. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. Every Just change in tone. Me, huh? Repay you. For all those goddamn years, I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother. Jesus. We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. All right. This is where it gets intense. So I know we talked about the infected, the cordyceps. Well, in this level, you don't really get to, to, to see those monsters, those zombie creatures. Here, arguably even worse, are the bandits, the bad guys. When the world goes to shit, things get bad. Kind of like the things that you read, the, the road, the walking dead. And so, again, the weapon system, the fighting system, all of it is great. This is what we call spatial awareness, which makes the game so unique and so much fun. Kind of like a Metal, Metal Gear Solid a little bit. But here I go, all right. I'm gonna go kill some bad guys. But the spatial awareness, it allows you to enhance that terror in the game. Because a lot of the times, right now, this is a high level of violence right here. Here I got my Molotov cocktail. Someone's gonna burn. Oh, shit, fuck. Yep. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. Go to hell. So this go this game goes from very strong visuals, great powerful uh, voice acting and performances, very cinematic, to levels of high intensity, high violence, very graphic. Maybe not the best for kids, but still such a fun game. Take that bow. I like to bow leave. Your melee weapons, uh, back of the head. Yep, dead. Again, to showcase the darkness of a world gone bad. Can you get out of there? I got my different no, things that? with a nail, nail bomb. Here. Just... Ellie, hide. And again, the movement's so flawless. Gotta get cover, gotta get cover, gotta get cover. bomb when they step on it, it explodes. A lot of household appliances. Game very realistic. El Diablo. Not the best shot. This isn't like Doom where I can just shoot demons. This one. Fuck. See sometimes you get killed. Yeah. Right, let's do it again. Right, round two. This time I'm on the shit. All right. Nail bomb. Multiple cocktail. And with the stuff that you pick up throughout the game, you can make these types of weapons. A health pack, multiple cocktail, a little smoke bomb. I 
never learn my lesson. I, sometimes I just... Again, high moments of violence. My health pack. Here we go. Take a second so that I can heal myself up. Bandages. So again, I can't have anything. running at bad guys and trying to stab them or hit them with pipes. Slow down, slow down. Listen, then, hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this hanging over my head. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? And what's that all about? I do this for you, Ellie. I do this for you. Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? No, talk about it. Later. Later. Right. One fuck up. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Fine. Maria. Here we go. Yep. My you. sentiments exactly, Joel. If anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. You know, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Joe! What, what is it? That yeah. girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn Ellie's a very which strong way? female character, which I really appreciate in this game also. But she does cause a lot of things where things just kind of fall apart. But I gotta go see her. Again, beautiful times. I love this music. And so, this is part one. Will I find Ellie? Let's find out. Thank you for watching.